Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking into the evolution system present within Cassette Beasts and how it works because much like most of the mechanics in this game and despite what certain game journalists might say, it differs itself from Pokemon immensely. We're going to be talking about how exactly you can remaster your cassette tapes and how that sort of works into the branched evolution system that comes along with many of the monsters in the game. Now that being said, let's dive in. Okay, so when it comes to the evolution mechanic in Cassette Beasts, it's not overly complicated, but does differentiate itself beyond just hitting a certain level and boom. This is in part because there already is a trainer level in the game, which is independent of the actual star rating of each cassette you have. Each cassette has the potential to have up to five stars associated with it, and these act as their own independent levels of sorts. Again, not to be confused with the trainer level. As you level up your stars, you'll gain access to more stickers, but more importantly, and for this video, if you can get five stars on any given cassette, you can remaster that cassette as long as it has an evolution, which essentially is just the in-game term for bringing it to the next stage. Leveling up your stars is as simple as battling, uh, completing quests, and stuff like that. Anything that nets you XP normally will do the same for your star XP. You can see on the cassettes themselves during the level up screen that they have their own experience bars. Upon your cassette having five stars, you can select it and choose to remaster it, and in many cases, you'll be given two separate options. Here you can see that I was given two choices for my original starter and I chose to be violent and make it undead. This selection window only appears when resting at campfires or at the cafe. You can also upgrade your stars by using this upside down grape they put in the game, which are kind of like rare candies for your monsters. They'll basically just up your star rating by one. These items, as far as I can tell so far, can just be found throughout the world. But yeah, pretty simple guide overall, but nevertheless, this is something that I think many of you guys are probably wondering, especially if you started your playthrough. That being said, if you do want to stay up to date on all things monster taming, especially cassette beats right now, definitely subscribe to the channel for daily monster taming content. You can check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon linked below. Special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Dro Ghost, Dark Persona, Exodus, and Candy Morency. And remember, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I know this video is kind of quick, but there's not a whole lot to say about the evolution system other than raise the stars and remaster them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.